Today, one of my guild messed up a toss roll and the Scarlet Guild attack max out. What the f? Dude! <laughs> he, th he tossed uh, an attack max out. Oh my god, dude. Sky, didn't you do all the diagrams which matters for snow and weather attack L damage? Uh, where is it? Uh, overload, exclamation point guide. Um, so here's the thing. The way I have start, I oh yeah. By the way, I did I did update it actually, chat. So I did update the the overload guide, and I am telling I, I've been telling my guildmates on this as well. But put attack and elemental damage on the same priority now. I put attack and elemental damage in the same priority. So like it for Modernia, if you have a hit rate, obviously you would you'd want at least one hit rate, right? Or like for Alice, you want at least like one charge speed, right? So if you valued charge speed higher than attack, then you would do that. So you, you would pick you would pick the the way however you value attack, that's how much you would value at elemental damage as well. So I have, uh, we updated, I updated the elemental damage priority into high, higher. So if you value attack high, then you value elemental damage just as high. Or the guy, I mean, the thing you did notepad, is it the same anyway? Oh, oh, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like, it's the trade off. Okay, okay. It's like you're risking like a 20% more damage with elemental or like when you're comparing the uh, I, I let me let me find it. i got the notepads i think let's see i got the receipts chat it's fine oh this one yeah i got the nike snow white damage calculation ol uh yeah here we go um so you're basically going I think what elemental damage is it? Oh, okay. When you max out attack percentage and elemental damage, the trade-off is you're doing 28% more damage against all other elements or 60% more damage against uh one element. That's a trade-off that you're doing. And in my opinion, I would just value them similarly. I get, like I would put elemental damage and attack percentage about the same priority. Something to keep in mind is attack buffs. I don't think did we calculate the attack buffs here? Yes. Okay. So we did. Uh, so this is all calculated with Miranda, Polly, and Maxwell. Yeah. So uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did, we did, we did calculate it with buffs. So with less buffs, the attack would be higher. Uh, so it's actually possibly more, possibly higher percentage with less attack percent buffers possibly lower percent with less attack percent buffer and the main reason uh, this is percent uh advantage over over attack this is with 120 percent attack buffers mm. i personally would put same priority between attack and elemental damage elemental damage is the real late most game when we start building multiple teams and so yeah that's what i mean but i i think you should just emphasize like having i mean both is good like the ideally attack elemental damage and max ammo are probably the standard dps priority but obviously again it depends on the unit like for example if you have alice you want at least one to two charge speed and so in that situation you can give up either attack or elemental damage for extra charge speed that's totally fine and the main re yeah the main reason is like i noticed it on the most recent union raids and the solo raid and um the co-op basically the end game stuff all of these have been there have been significant effect by elemental damage with uh with, yeah and i i kind of foresee it the more attack buffers we get um or different attack buffers because obviously how are they gonna uh do something better than litter i guess like the different multipliers yeah that's 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 what we have damage taken debuff like blank and stuff like that but anyways again 
to me i started i i updated this overload thing and i started telling my guildmates uh, to put the same priority on elemental damage as attack on their main dps for sub dps you don't really need it as much but uh that's kind of how i did it did it because sub dps typically they're more team comp you you base them on around team comps instead when you when you put like your buffers right privity helm noir but like your main dps this could end up like actually switching prioritization on them and uh why that is the case probably the biggest example would be this one in the number one in co-op the number one in co-op last time was uh this is his alice he did 182 mil and he had 93 percent elemental attack this is the number one co-op in uh na i believe he like the alice did 182 mil on that co-op to give you a perspective my alice i have 30 percent attack to give you a perspective, I had 30% attack. I yeah, I have 30% attack on my Alice, but no elemental damage. And I was only doing about 80 mil with Blankenor. Although maybe their Blankenor was a little bit better compared to ours. I think <clears throat> when I did, I think I did 80 to 100 mil. Mr. Kanto, can you, do you remember how much Alice's elemental damage? How much percentage? Yeah, your max was 120. What, what's your percentage? What's your Ele percentage? 30% Ele without cube. Yeah, 40% with cube. Yeah, I, I don't know if the 93% of uh, Romariel was with cube or without cube, but regardless, it was a 93% Alice, right? Now, the thing is like, because we're getting more and more units, elemental damage is a much more better choice. Like for example, the reason why Snow White and Maxwell were such a good pick on Material Age was because they were both, they, they were both uh, Iron and Material Age was Electro. And so you're, they they had elemental advantage. So yeah, uh, definitely start considering elemental damage now for your endgame DPS if you're looking to be competitive in like Union Raid, Solar Raid, uh, you know, those top end contents if you want to like rank on them. Material H weakness is Electro? No, Material H is Electro. And his weak, Material H's weakness is Iron. Material H is Electro, or the weakness is Iron. See, Gravedigger, Stormbringer, Material H. These are the Tyrant weaknesses. Why you think the Snow White and Maxwell were dealing like 800 mil? I think there was some 1 bill damage, right? Did they show their gear here? Let me see. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, crit Ray, attack. Max ammo, attack. And then 1 elemental damage, okay. What about this one? Ooh, 23% elemental damage. Ooh, that's good. Another 23%! Oh my god, two. Oh yeah, yeah, they're there. That's two element. That's 40%. He has a 40%, 46% elemental damage. He's level 370 though. It's not about just that though. Like, if we look at the damage, it was a 1.6. This is a level 8. Wait, did he show the damage? Oh, oops. Right, th right there. 900 oh god yeah it, it doesn't matter if it's like level 370 or whatnot right it's it's still crazy that it, it, it got that much and well he finished it barely just within three minutes so it shows the potential yeah full iron comp yeah this was the material h like top top team opposition anyways um yeah that's that's why I'm telling people now, uh, even my guild, I like if you see, I even like, even like made an announcement for it. For main DPS, start putting a bit higher priority on elemental damage. I would say same tier of importance as attack percentage. End game is get both attack percent and elemental damage. Yeah, yeah, that's the real end game because like when we have way more nike to play around with you know you're gonna choose your pokemon now right you gotta get the elemental type weaknesses come on chat know your pokemons okay 